<laughs> now, finally, as we all know, nobody actually enjoys watching TV programmes. The only ones anyone admits to watching and enjoying are made by my next guest and thousands of his creepy, furry and scaly co-stars. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. All right. um, now, I've, <laughs> I've naturally. Um, I've <laughs> now, now, of course, you're completely, completely popular. I've, um, I've uh, <laughs> researched. You know, trying to dig the dirt on you, and the, uh, I found one quote about you: "Done for natural history, what Melvin Bragg has done for the arts." And that's the worst thing <laughs> I've found about anyone's ever. <laughs> Ever said about you? How did you get into doing the the, the uh, wildlife documentaries? Well, I uh, I was educated as a zoologist, you know, yeah. and then I couldn't get a job, and I uh, applied. <laughs> I couldn't. I yeah. tried for BBC Television, which yeah. in 1952 was up there in Alexander Palace. Yes, and just starting, really. Yes. Well, it started just before yeah. the war, but um, they did quite a lot of interesting animal programmes. Yeah. They were all live then, of course. Yes. You know, the animals, well, the animals were. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always, <laughs> yes, uh, sometimes well, it came to a different end, yes. <laughs> but you were going to be a producer, were you, first of all? Yes, I was, yeah. and, and I was the producer for um, oh, 20 years or so. Yeah. And how did you get to being in front of the camera well, and in with the gorillas and all that? Well, because something went wrong, you know, and the person I was supposed to be doing it with, because they were live programmes, he was ill, I was the only person there who had made the film in Africa, so I had to come down and um, do the stuff with the right. chimpanzees. Oh, right, so... <laughs> Well, I work at what sort of stuff you're talking about, but uh, <laughs> so was that, yeah, that was, was that Zoo Quest where you actually go and had to go and find an animal? Was that's that... right, that's right. Yeah. And is it more and more difficult for you to find fresh animals to find? Because they're dying out a bit and more people go on holidays and have seen them. Have you, are you no, running out of animals to no, film? No, there are a heck of a lot of animals yeah. around, I do assure you. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and even when you've, even when you've filmed, them yeah. once, filmed them once, you can film them again doing yeah. something more interesting. Well, you, you, <laughs> you tend to concentrate on a few basic things uh, for the big audiences. That's what the animals concentrate yeah. on. <laughs> well, you, you must have put more, um, more sex on television than Dennis Potter, really. <laughs> <'cause>, uh, <laughs> Well, I've had yeah. a number of assistants, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mean you personally. <laughs> <you know. laughs> um, but apart from being a presenter and a producer, you, you then started climbing the, the hierarchy at the BBC. You were, you were was it, controller of BBC Two? I get lost in those higher ranking, but you were very, very high up, weren't you? And then you decided, what, you didn't want to do that and go back to programme making? Yes, I did it for eight years, which is yeah. quite a long time to do an administrative job, yeah. and I got more fun out there than up yeah. here. Do you ever regret that, that you could be now, you know, the Director General, you the Chairman? You must be mad. What? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> no. You like there being with the animals. Yes, very yeah. much. But you must have had some dodgy moments uh, in, in the field. Well, not as many as you might think. I mean, because if you're any good at it, you ought not to get dodgy moments. I mean, you don't want to interfere with what the animals are doing, because that spoils the film. But you do go out and do it all. You don't just do it all in Windsor Safari Park or something. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> we've, seen, we've seen you in, you know, termite, my, you know, termites yeah. at home and wolves away. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal yeah. in a cup game, you know. You've done all... <laughs> but you, you've, you've been there. What's been the most sort of... Uh, distressing thing that's happened to you? Have you been attacked by any animals or leapt on top of you or anything like that? <laughs> I mean for... Well, well, actually, I, I was leapt on top of once. Yes. Um, <laughs> by an animal. By an animal, yes. yes. Uh, lovely girl. Tell us about uh, it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you got on very... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you got on very well with the gorillas, I saw. Well, yeah. well I, yeah. they... they do you remember a thing called Elsa the Lioness, I think? I, now, a lioness called Elsa. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I think she was on the show last week. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, yes, if you remember, she had been uh, tamed by Joy Anderson, who brought, them up, brought her up as a cub, yes. and then taught her to, to hunt in the wild. And uh, uh, just before the book was published, which made her famous, I was on my way to Madagascar, and we got a call, and they said, we've just heard about this wonderful lioness. You could stop off and fly up to their reserve, and we'd, uh, we can film them. We got yeah. some permission. So I flew up, and Joy Adamson, who was actually Viennese, uh, said, Oh, my dear, she said, it's terrible, because poor, poor Elsa, she's gone. I think she's dead. I don't know what's happened. And I'd been flying all night, and I'd been in a little plane, and I was a bit on the tired side, so I said, Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I don't know what we're going to do. She said, We don't know what to do now, and you've nothing to film, and so on. So I got out my camp bed, and I went to sleep on the camp bed by the side of the river, and I woke up because there was an enormous weight on my chest. <laughs> and I opened my eyes... It wasn't the Viennese I... woman again, was it? 
<laughs> Take care yeah, of this time. <laughs> and, uh, well, if it was a Viennese woman, she had a great big beard <laughs> and sort of wispy saliva made yeah. into spikes. This and is the terrible line. halitosis. Oh. <laughs> because that was the lion. Yeah. And Elsa the lioness was actually lying on me. So she was, she'd come alive again, or she wasn't? She yeah, actually <laughs> had appeared from the bush yeah. and sat on me. Yes. And I was, I actually thought that was, that was it, really. I yeah. thought it was breakfast time for lionesses. Yes. Um, and at that moment, Joy Adamson appeared and said, Elsa, my Liebchen, you see. <laughs> and, and a huge, great thing got off yeah. and went off and then sort of ate a goat. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, just as well you hadn't been smelling of goat or smearing. <laughs> yes, yeah. quite so. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, what about the other work you do? I know you've done the, the the Queen's Christmas broadcast over over many years. Is, is that? I don't do it this year. No, who's doing it this year? David Bellamy or? <laughs> <laughs> you better ask the Queen. Yeah. Oh, right, but is that is that any different? You know, filming the royal family as to filming. Uh... <laughs> Obviously, they're not going to leap on top of you, and, uh, and you certainly wouldn't have bad breath, obviously. What, you, uh, yeah. what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> I'm just covering your entire career, really. yeah, Thank you very yeah. much, yeah. Because you come from, <laughs> come from such a talented family, because we know your brother's uh, Sir Richard Attenborough. You're all knighted, really, aren't you? It's, uh, were, you were you like this as boys, very sort of... Uh, <laughs> were you looking at the animals? He was doing the home movies? Oh, he was doing that, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. He, was, he was doing those sort yeah. of things from very early age. Yeah. Mm. Is there a sort of competitive edge between you that, you know, he, he makes Gandhi, so you've got to go and do Bambi or something? You've got to, <laughs> <laughs> you've got to get another... Because awards are heaped on, on both of you. Well, no, we're in very different fields, really, you see. Yes. Because well, by, and they are different professionally, you see, because by and large, the more times uh, my brother's stars do their bit, uh, the better they get. Yes. With my lot, yeah, they do it once and that's it, and yeah. you can never get them to yeah. do it again, so you have to get it first time. Is there an element of fakery in, in some of it, though? I, mean, like you... <laughs> <laughs> I know really? you've made a few documentaries on it, but suppose you've got, I don't know, a black widow spider and she's going to eat her mate or whatever they do. I mean, do you like sort of aid and abet it a bit and sort of <laughs> prod the male in there? Well, yeah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't yeah. prod the male. Yeah. If you're a black widow spider, you don't need prodding. No. But, but, uh... I don't want to prod it, Brad Widow, I'll tell you. <laughs> spider. Spider, yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> too long with um, these animals, I don't know. No, but, I mean, supposing you said... Yeah. And I understand you're an expert on scorpions. Is yeah. that right? Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I... Well, I suppose smell it... like a goat, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Yeah. But anyway, um... <laughs> Supposing, <laughs> supposing you wanted a black uh, a scorpion, you wanted to film its courtship dance. Yes. So you set off walking across the Sahara, right? Yeah. And saying right. that I want to make the scorpion yeah. dance. Yeah. And you keep on turning over stones, and with luck, after about four days, you find a scorpion. Yeah. You see. see but it isn't doing its dance. So what up you the disco music? What and do you do? Go. <laughs> no, what you do yeah. is to pick it up, and I gather you're expert at yeah, that. Oh, yes, well, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you put it in a tobacco tin, put it in your pocket. Yeah. You see, and then you walk around for another three or four days and find a male. Yeah. and put that in a tin, and then you get the camera, and then you find a nice little bit of desert, and you put the two together and hope it works. Well, they'll be now, coughing that... away on the tobacco. <laughs> 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 is that fakery? Well, I don't know, but it's, it's like when you've got a lion and you want to see it killing a wildebeest. No, so... no that's not fakery, no. because I can show you they're not susceptible to yeah. fakery. Yeah. Wildebeest yeah. aren't either. And what about... <laughs> <laughs> I wish you wouldn't put it in a tobacco tin, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> would you sort of tether a, you know, hobble it a bit so oh, that the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Dear <laughs> would me. you? Would oh, you? I would not. <laughs> well, what about the noises? Because sometimes there's sort of... Well, I... These, you go, crunch, crunch, crunch. Is it back there with a piece of cucumber going... Uh, <laughs> Percy throw again? Yeah, well, uh, that has to be said. Yeah. But, okay, uh, one of, I mean, seriously, one of the problems is that you can have a telephoto lens which gets you a close-up of, yeah. say, what? Um, uh, an owl sitting in a tree tearing a mole, uh, a vole to yeah, pieces, yeah. right? Or a okay. wildebeest. Or a yeah. wildebeest. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't get a sound telescope. No. You get a gun mic, which you can go up there, but the sound doesn't sound close yeah. up. Well, a little radio mic on its feathers would be... Well, yeah. <laughs> you see, we don't fake it. That's no, not a captive no. owl, is it? It's no. a wild owl. Right, so what are you so, going to do for the noise, So, then? well, you have to get a dead mouse. Yeah. And, and then uh, do an impression. The... <laughs> 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 and you make... 
<laughs> when you make funny noises with the London Telephone Directory and things like yeah. that. <laughs> True. Yes, well, you can get some great funny noises on the London <laughs> Telephone <laughs> Directory. Yeah, anyway, it was uh, been a delight to meet you, ladies and gentlemen, Sir David Attenborough. Right, um, that was excellent. Now, um, 